we're going to take a look at the different components in the user interface. And if you notice, there's a small X next to them, just like you would expect in a Windows application. And you can shut them and close them down so that you don't have them there. Uh, in order to get them back, you would simply go to the View tab up in the top in the ribbon. And at the very, very end, there's a User Interface button where you can click. And you can simply put the Project Browser back and you can put the Properties palette back. So you can take those. You can also dislodge them. You can pull them away, like so, and you'll have the different windows available. You can resize them. This is actually handy if you're using a dual monitor system. Uh, I like to have another monitor hooked up to my computer, and then I pull these windows, which I use very frequently, but they're off on the other side. That gives me a lot of real estate to work with. I can put this back down here. Um, we can take a look at the view window. And there's something uh, very important to take a look at in Revit with regard to view windows. Most applications that you might be familiar with um, have a single window open. And when you click another window, it opens that and closes the previous one. Uh, that's not the case in Revit. Since Revit is already requests a lot of memory of the computer, it's always important to keep in mind that you have multiple windows open. And that might actually take resources away from your computer. So let's take a look at that. If I click on this plan right here, which I have open right now, which is called Level 1, as you can see in my project browser on the left-hand side is bold, I can also click on Level 2, and that opens up this Level 2. Right now, obviously, there's nothing in this file, and this is all we're looking at. I can also open up a couple of ceiling plans. Uh, it seems like I'm only opening up one and that the other one has disappeared. It hasn't. If I go to the View tab in the ribbon, and I look at the very top there, uh, pull down the Switch Windows uh, button, you'll see that I actually have four open windows there. Uh, so these are all right now taking memory from your computer. And if you really don't need them, it's probably important to close them. The reason that Revit allows you to open up multiple windows at, a, at the same time is that you may actually want to use kind of a split window uh, option. And those are right here on, off on the side. You can either cascade your windows, which is kind of a freestyle. You can drag things around the way that you want them. Or you can actually tile your windows, which puts them nicely in a grid, and it displays all the views. This will become uh, very useful once you have larger models and you have plans and sections and elevations that you would like to work on at the same time. Uh, also notice, as a little side note, that when you do use this function called Window Tile, um, that the window that shows up in the upper left-hand left corner is always the one you had selected last. For example, right here, I have Level 1 Floor Plan. If I select that one and hit the Tile window, that's the one that shows up in the top left corner. When you open up or maximize this view and you say, this is the one I want to work on, I'm really done with the other views, you use the Close Hidden Window button. And then when you click on that, it grays out. It means there are no more open windows. And you notice here from the pull down switch window that there's only one screen available. Again, it's just a little bit of house cleaning. It helps to keep the file nice and concise and not take too much memory.